Okay, this is the Masonic apron. Um, this part here, uh, the all-seeing eye, was part of a flap that went over uh, the uh, individual's belt that, uh, you know, the buckle was underneath there. And, and he just would tuck it up under his belt and that, leave this flap open uh, uh, over the top. And the all-seeing eye is there. Um, it, this, uh, the, the apron was made out of a white satin and the ruffle around the edge was a blue satin uh, at one time. It, it's certainly not blue now. Uh, the, uh, these marks here, I believe, uh, signify clouds, heaven, or whatever. Um, uh, it's like Darth Vader's ship. Yes. <laughs> Sorry. It, <laughs> well, well it's best. close. It's right next to the, to the star. Uh-huh. Okay, let's... I okay. believe that this... I know, and then this okay. is part of posterity too. <laughs> okay. okay. I, I believe this is a symbol for the Holy Ghost. Oh, sorry. Sorry, Holy Ghost. Okay. Well, he'll strike you later. Okay. <laughs> okay. And for some reason, the, the Holy Mason... Ghost is not a Death Star. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I'm going to sit over here. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, these are Masonic swords going through the heart and through uh, a, a, the, a the book. Oh, a book. No, it's a book. Oh. There's a, here's, here's a ladder going into heaven. Oh. Okay. The Holy Ghost, you know. Well, Wait, so yeah. this is the Holy Ghost or yeah. this is the Holy Ghost? The, the round thing was uh, legs. Okay, the TIE Fighter yeah. is the Holy Ghost. <laughs> With a book on top. <laughs> okay. Oh. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm just... That's I'm it. We're, well, we're trying oh, to bring okay. it into this I century. See. Okay, so there's a book on top of the Holy Ghost. Yes. I see. I focused in on the Holy Ghost. All right. All right. These... These... Uh, uh, are, th are the world. Okay. okay. These are the pillars of the earth. Okay. Uh, and they're holding up the earth. Okay. This is the compass. <coughs> this is the square. Okay. And the G in the middle signifies God. Now, what the little stars are, I don't know. Is there any significance to those lines? Oops, those lines right there? Yes, they're holding the square and the G up. Or the compass and the G up. Like it's hanging from like heaven. Like it's hanging from heaven. Okay. All right. This is uh, the Pythagorean theorem. It's a mathematical th thing. Uh, when you take uh, uh, a three plus a four equals a five. 3 square plus 4 square equals 5 common, square. That's the new common core math. That's right. Okay. Well, 3 square. And three. when you have something, uh, a carpenter uh, to to square off a uh, a piece of board that uh, he wants he wants it square, he wants to uh, draw a 90 degree cut on it. Right. Okay. He will measure up 4 well, it depends on how wide the board is. He will measure up uh, four inches. He will go there uh, up from it three inches. And when the five inch uh, uh, thing here, when it's five inches between the corner of the four and the corner of the three, then the, the angle between the three and the four is 90 degrees. Oh. But what would then? What would they need this compass for? Isn't that compass? Well, compass draws circles, oh. and and, and, and then, but the the and the but it, the square. Yeah. But you you can't get a square until you know how to get it. Oh, okay. Okay, 
I don't know what the star is for, but it's a white pointed star. It's lovely. It is lovely. There's a trowel down here. For digging? Uh, for mortaring. Oh, mortaring? Masons. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, sorry, these sorry. are masons. My bad. Yeah, well, who's to know? Now, what these are, I think these are pillars also, but here's the, the, uh, there is the book with a square and a compass on it. Yep, I see that. Okay, and. It's on some sort of pedestal. On a pedestal, and this, I don't know what the checker floor means, but uh, underneath. What is this? What's that right there? What? This thing right here. Sorry. Oh, I'm, that's. No, oh that's no, that. I I don't know. Oh. I was that may be a, maybe that looks like a hammer, or a sledgehammer yeah. of some kind. Could be. To knock down the walls. Or break a rock apart. I don't okay. know. Uh, underneath here, uh, a shovel and a hoe, I think. More masonry stuff. Masonry stuff. This is a casket. Okay. You know, you dig a grave for a casket. Yeah. And I believe this little symbol here, the three relief looking things. I'm going to zoom in on it. Okay. Uh, I think uh, uh, represents spirit. Nice. And I'm going to Masonic apron belonging to William Felshaw. Right. Now William Felshaw joined the Masons uh, after he had joined the church for protection. Uh, thinking that uh, like, like the Prophet Joseph. Yeah. That, as a matter of fact, uh, William Felshaw was a Mason before he joined the church. Because That's he was it. A carpenter. That's it. Because he was a carpenter. Yeah. And and he, he and he was a Mason, and he was one of those that uh, he and Hiram, who was also a Mason before he joined the church, they. They were responsible in getting Joseph uh, into the Masons. Really? Yeah. Wow. Pretty cool. That is. Yeah. For protection. Right. Yeah, I remember that. Okay. And that's about all I know about it. Okay, say goodbye. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. Cool. That's awesome. All right, so...